Hello, hope all is well. So a really quick video today, and that's uh, how to do sidechain style noise gating in Reaper using rear gate. So first off, huge thanks and shout out to Phil or Pip Pris on YouTube. He did a video on this uh, recently, and I'll link to his channel and the video in question below. So here we are in Reaper, and we'll be using NAM Universal along with uh, VHT profiles that I made recently. So the first thing to do is we're going to be adding rear gates after NAM Universal. So that's here. And we're going to be setting up our second track uh, to be a key input. So like the 14 Zool or the Lishlam, uh, the key in the gate, we're going to be uh, using a second track as the key input for the gate. So the gate is going to be listening to our clean uh, DI'd guitar. So for that, it's quite easy. You set up a second track and you set it to, uh, just like your first track, you're gonna set it to your guitar track. So in my case, this is eight at one. So this is what that sounds like. You can hear it's just the DI signal. And this is what you do to set up the side chain within rear gate, or at least my way of doing it. So on the second channel, and we'll name this key input just to make things clear. On this second part, or the second, I don't know if it's a tab, the sends hardware outputs part. And then what you do is uh, you hold left click and drag into the window of rear gate. And as you can see underneath the mouse cursor, there's this like plug icon. Uh, you can then let go and then this pop-up menu comes up here. And the thing to change here is under post fader post pan, which this is this drop down menu over here, we're gonna click on this and change it to one of the pre-fader options. So in this case, I'll set it to pre-fader post effects. And I'll get into why in a bit. We can then close this window and then we set our detector input to be auxiliary input right there. And so now if we play through uh, our guitar that's on our second channel, you'll see that the routing worked correctly and it's listening to your DI track that's coming in via the second channel. Now the thing here to make this style of gating work is that we need to arm both of the tracks that we're using. So our key input or the side chain track and then our main track, which is going to be where our amp uh, SIM plugin will be along with uh, rear gates or the gate plugin that we're using. And the thing is we don't want to hear our uh, clean DI track through the main output. And because of the way we set up the side chaining as in pre-fader, we can simply take the fader of our second track, as in the uh, key input track, and just take that to zero. And that way we'll no longer be hearing the um, key input track within our main track, but the gate will still hear uh, what we're sending into it. And now a really cool trick is uh, the low pass and the high pass. Now, the reason that's there is that it's uh, how the, the gate detects how it should be gating, if that makes sense. So at the moment, it's set so that it's listening to the whole frequency band. And you can further uh, increase tightness of the gate itself by reducing how much of the signal of your guitar it's actually listening to. I find I get really good results if I set, say, high pass around, you know, the 120 mark or so, and I pull down the low pass to, you know, about 1,400 or something or thereabouts. <laughs> I'll note you can also download Reargate for free, uh, downloading Rear plugs via the uh, Reaper website. It's only for Windows, but then you can use the same gate within another door. And uh, there's most likely ways of doing exactly what I described here 
within another door. And then you can get this uh, crazy tight style gating within whatever door that you're using. So there you go. Hope that was useful. If you want to play around a bit more with the uh, noise gate settings, I would suggest leaving the low pass and the high pass at these sort of more constrained values as it gives a really nice response, I feel, or uh, how efficient the gate reacts. And then play around with just the attack and release to get a better idea of what they're doing and how it affects the gate. In any case, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this kind of content, please drop a like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Thanks.